Hey, Devin, thanks for joining me today. I'm pretty excited because Vaisla has sent us a couple products to take a look at. I'm sure you remember who Vaisla is, right? Yeah, Vaisla has been around for about 80 years now, one of the world leaders in, in probe technologies and sensor technologies. And so I'm excited to see what, what, what they've sent us here. Absolutely. Today. Pioneers in the field, especially as it comes to moisture measurement. So that's what I'm assuming we've got in here. So we'll start with the, the smaller one here. Okay. And it looks like this is the MMP8. So the MMP8, this is one of their smart probes, and this is measuring moisture in oil. And it's gonna be reporting things like water activity or saturation percentage. So it's going to be measuring how close to that saturation point we exist with the water inside of our oil. Okay, that's awesome. And we all know that moisture is a very big deal with our lubricants, right? Because it. It, it's one of those things that, that really leads us to oxidation and, and failure of our lubricants early. and one of the common things that we find as a root cause when we look at why things fail. Bingo, it's not just oxidation, it's hydrolysis. There's any number of failures associated with water. So if we can keep the level below the saturation point, we can help minimize those as much as possible. Right, and, and keep it out of that, that free water and emulsion zone that causes so many problems within our equipment. Bingo. So I, I love looking at it immediately. It, it's very robust mm -hmm. and it's already got this threaded connection, which I assume means we can just hot tap it into a system if we need it to. That's it. So with the, the probe, it is robust. It can handle temperatures over 350 degrees. It is threaded, it makes installation a lot easier. And as you'd expect, I mean, it does best in a line of moving oil. So think about larger systems like uh, maybe turbine systems, hydraulic systems, something where the oil is moving. And with it being threaded like this, you can can hot tap it a lot easier. Weld a ball valve, drill through, plug this in, and now we've got stuff going on. Minimal uh, loss of oil, minimum contamination. It's a good way to do it. Yeah, absolutely. And with that ability, then I don't have to try to schedule this within a, a downtime or something like that. So once I get it on site, I can go install it almost immediately if I needed to. That's it. And the great thing about it, you get it installed, there's real time data coming your way. That's awesome, that's awesome. Well, this is great, but how are we gonna get this information from this probe into something that's actually useful? That's it, so I mean, the probe is gonna be measuring it, but we do need to be able to access that data. And that's why they sent us the Indigo 520. Now, okay. the Indigo 520, you can tell that this is a great little device that's gonna give us a screen that we can see what's going on inside that system. Yeah, and, and I love just looking at it immediately, right? It looks like it's very interactive and being able to give me some really great information and even, uh, you know, giving me useful things that I can just walk by, look at it and know exactly kind of where we're at right now. Yeah, that's right. You know, I, I can't stress the importance of visual inspections enough, but maybe you're not out there in the plant. So what's great about the Indigo 520 is this gives you network capability because this can now push that information to a web interface, to a web browser. And the folks at Vaisal, they want to make sure everyone's at ease with their systems. They have invested in the utmost of cybersecurity. So we don't have to worry about someone getting in there and getting access to the data or messing with anything that shouldn't be. So yeah. it makes it a lot easier to get that information in real time. Yeah. And I love that it has two input cables That's here, right? right? So we can theoretically hook two of these sensors up, maybe on the same system to see kind of what our oil is doing in two different parts of, of the process, right? It could be, it could be two different machines entirely, but like you said, maybe if you put them on the same machine, maybe like uh, you've been to, to power plants like I have, you've got a steam turbine that has a lot of water, so you have a vacuum dehydrator hooked up to it. Mm -hmm. You may have one probe upstream of the vacuum dehydrator, one downstream of the vacuum dehydrator. We can now take the inputs, tie it into a PLC or something, tell us when that vacuum de dehydrator needs to turn on, when it needs to shut off to where we can maintain that point below the saturation level of the oil. Yeah, and it really takes out the guesswork of just assuming that we have a lot of water and, and kicking it on and then we just wait for an arbitrary amount of time and turn yeah. it off and we don't really know what we've what we've accomplished. Or what I've seen people say, well, it looks like it's dry now, we'll turn it off. So yeah, it yeah. saves with manpower, saves the guesswork. It, it, it's really starting to form the cornerstone of a proactive maintenance program, right? As you said already, water is a root cause of failure. So if we're monitoring that and we're taking actions to remove it before it causes an issue, we're being very proactive and this allows us to do that. Yeah, absolutely. And with that same of my, uh, thought in mind, right? Uh, this, this could be a great supplement to oil analysis. We're getting real time on this and maybe 
even in some applications, it could replace our oil analysis as it relates to water content of our oil anyway. It, it very well could. And I, I like that because not only does it help with the proactive side, but the predictive side as well. It bolsters our oil analysis, but it also can tell us of any sort of impending machine failure, if there's all of a sudden a water intrusion or anything like that. So it makes it really easy. And the great thing is about Visla, if you have any questions, they offer free lifetime technical support. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I'm really glad that they sent it over to us and let us check it out for them. Absolutely. So if you'd like any more information on these products or other Visla products, please just visit the link below.